Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Julie of Julie's Plans and in today's video I am going to be planning the week of August 12th through August 18th. Now I was going through my kits and I think that I picked one that I have been dying to use. I actually think this is a July kit. I'm not entirely sure but Things just kept coming up and I kept picking different kits, but I have been dying to use this one. It is kit 150D and I also grabbed the washi strips. This has kind of been what I've been going with when I order kits from Planner and Kate simply because I've simplified a lot of my planning style. I'm not using like full boxes or check boxes and things like that. As you can see, we'll take a look back at this week. And you can see I keep my main three, I just realized I was blocking out the sun, <laughs> but I keep my top three right here across the bottom and that seems to be working out perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with that. And yeah, I've really loved it. Even the week prior was the same. That was back to school week. And then that's my August month. Let's go back a few more pages because there's so many pages in there. Um, and then the same here, like I literally am just using um, event labels like in quarter boxes and things like that up in the hourly planning area and then the bottom half for my to do's. And this is this past week. I'm loving this kit. I'm going to get another one of these. I absolutely love it. You can see how I planned this out in last week's plan with me. But for now, let's focus on this week. So yeah, I do think that this is a July kit and I realize I don't have date covers again. I don't know what is going on with me and my lack of having date covers, but we're just gonna keep the dates as they are already on the planner, imagine that. So let's go ahead and start with the sidebar then since I don't have date covers. <laughs> I didn't really plan that out too well, but um, that is okay. And I actually think I might have some date covers upstairs in my office, but I'm just not sure I, I really need those this week. <laughs> so we'll just, yeah, we'll skip that. So I think I'm gonna kinda do what I did last week. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. I do know that I love using these event labels right here with the little check boxes because I don't use the check boxes, but I love to use those and put my to-do, to-go, and to-call on there. So let's go ahead and get those done. I'm actually planning on a Friday instead of a Saturday, so a little bit earlier than normal, but um, I had some extra time, so I figured I would just go ahead and get it done. And I'm just moving this page over here so that I can put my um, checklist or my, my event label here exactly where I had it the week prior. It just works out that way. This, this spacing is really working out for me. So yeah, that works. And then I just use these. I loved, I, I'm pretty sure I say this every single week, but I absolutely love the script, this script font that Planner Kate uses. It's just simple and clean and I really, really like it. So it's been working really nice for me and it is a beautiful sunny day outside. Let's put the to-do where it goes. Um, so I'm getting a lot of great light. I'm really happy about that because the last few weeks it has been rainy and miserable and yucky and I have not liked it at all. So I may just leave the calendar there just because it's not totally bothering me this week, but uh, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just leave that one alone for right now. So I think what I will do for across the top here is just use the thicker sticker strip that's on this sampler sheet right here. I really like these, I think these are like blueberries, I don't know, super red, white, and blue. I mean, there's a smidge of yellow in there too on some of these quarter boxes, so I may tie in some more yellow on my own. And since I am using this strip, I may, I might actually get to track the weather this week <laughs> now that I have this space across here, so that's gonna be nice. And then let's put the other one down on the other side. All right. So now that we are into the swing of things, like we are now into the second week of school, technically the first, um, the first full week of school, I feel like we're finally getting our rhythm down with things. This is bugging me. This is not in the same spot. Hang on. 
So I feel like our schedule is finally starting to make a little bit of sense, kind of, sort of. Um, our son started cross country. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my last plan with me. But now, um, like the location of practice has changed, of course. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but everything is going really, really well. Like, no hiccups so far. I know it's still early in the school year, but I feel like a lot of those things tend to happen right at the beginning, you know, if there's any issues. So I'm kind of glad that everything's been nice and calm and easygoing and yeah, just very, very relaxed at the whole process of back to school and open house and getting supplies was just probably the easiest it's been in a very long time. So I'm very appreciative of that. Okay, so down here are those dang hexagons and it's weird, they kind of sort of match in a weird way. So I may leave them completely alone. They are this kind of soft, like mossy green, and there's that same green in some of the colors of this kit. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cover them up. I'm not gonna, you know. I pulled some holographic washi from Simply Gilded, but now I'm feeling like I don't need it. I was going to use it if I was going to cover it up, cover up the little hexagons down there, but now I'm just kind of like, I don't think I need those. But I do wanna use, one of these um, sticky or skinny washi strips, my goodness, and I think I'm gonna use the one with more yellow in it so that I can tie in more yellow as needed for this kit for the week. I'm really, really liking these colors a lot. And like I said, I know that it's a July kit, but I think it's just beautiful for any time of year. I was even thinking maybe for like January, but I knew I wasn't gonna hold on to that kit for very long. <laughs> I was ready to use it. And blue is not even one of the colors that I love a whole lot. I just love the, the watercolor in this kit. It's just, it's beautiful. I can't say enough about it. Or I've probably said too much and I should be quiet and keep moving on. Um, <laughs> so one of the things that I need to mark are workouts. Let's go ahead and get that done. That has been a huge priority in my life and I'm absolutely loving it. So we are going to get in five days of working out and I'm gonna pull these workout stickers so that I can find some event labels to layer them with. <clears throat> there are some that come with this kit, but there's just not enough. So I'm thinking, wrong binder, that I can pull some from this binder from Planner Kate. And I'm just trying to see if I have enough of a pastel color. And I think I just got a sheet of pastel event labels in, but they may not be the right ones. But there's also this lighter blue here. And maybe I could alternate it with this green. Hmm, I did not think this through. <laughs> Surprise. Let's see. <clears throat> Um, I guess I don't really have an option but to use. There is this lighter green right here. That will work. I just like layering <clears throat> the workout stickers. I know that it's not necessary, but I, I like doing it that way. So for my workouts, in case you missed last week's video or anything that I've pretty much posted anywhere, um, I have a goal of walking 60 miles for the month of August. It's not... <laughs> We're not off to a great start, <laughs> but I'm gonna stay positive about it. I um, had a couple of hiccups this past week where I just wasn't feeling well, and then I had like massive computer issues on Tuesday, and it ate up like my whole evening. It was not pretty at all. <laughs> um, not one of my finer moments. Um, but so I'm off to a slow start, but I'm gonna try and make it up this coming weekend while, while we have some time. Now we do have a farewell dinner here on Thursday, so it is just not gonna happen. And I think what I'll do is hmm, for the five days, maybe I'll give myself Thursday and Friday off, or no, we will walk Friday and Saturday. Saturday morning, we're not gonna get to walk because it is Nathan's driving test that day. So we're gonna put it in the evening. I probably won't walk that late 
or maybe we'll go super early. I'm just not sure, but we have to drive all the way into Savannah for that. So I want to make sure I give ourselves enough time to get all of that done and be where we need to be. Now, next is cross country. I'm kind of working from the bottom up. I really didn't mean to do that, but it's kind of working out. Plus I need to get these things out of the way. So for cross country, a lot of you noticed in the last video, I struggled with finding icon stickers that had shoes on them. And it turns out I do have them, just not in the color that I need. <laughs> They're right there. I'm gonna double check though. No, those are all actual icons. I don't have just the sheet by themselves, which is something that I need to order. And I kept meaning to email Kate this week and see if she would do cross country practice stickers. And I totally forgot. I think she has cross country meet or track meet, but not practice. So I think I'll reach out and ask if she can make those available. We shall see, maybe. So what I am gonna use is because I don't have five and he's going to have, yes, five practices. I'm going to have to use, this is gonna be a lot of green, but we're gonna make it work. Um, I'm gonna use these right here. I don't think he actually has cross country on Friday, but we're gonna, we're gonna mark it on Friday just in case. <laughs> I feel like sometimes they have it on Friday and sometimes they don't. So those are at 6 p.m. and we're just gonna put those across here. And this blue sort of matches, we'll see. I like them. I think they look neat. So this will work for that. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the dinner that I have to be at at five. I think that I'll just put it right above there and hopefully this is the last week where we have to worry about who's driving who where because we will have four licensed drivers in our house. <laughs> I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about that. So funny story, I promise this plan with me will not be 500 minutes long, but it was just two days ago that I finally drove in the car with our son for the first time while he was the one driving and no lie, like my cheeks started sweating. I was a nervous wreck and I just kept looking down because I didn't want him to look into the rear view mirror and see just how panicked I was and make him nervous. So I just kept looking down. He did an amazing job driving. Um, he's been to driver's ed, my husband has handled all of his additional driving time, which has been outstanding, but I am too anxious with a new driver, so I have not gotten behind, he hasn't gotten behind the wheel with me in the car. And yeah, it was kind of funny. I was like, there were legit drops of sweat on my cheeks. <laughs> it was it was funny, but yeah, I didn't tell him till yesterday or this morning. I told him this morning, he had asked me, hey, you know, how did you think I did in the car the other day? Do you think I'm gonna be okay when I take my driver's test? And I was just like, dude, I am so proud of you. You did absolutely amazing. And he was like, wow, really? And it just, it melted my heart because I know that he's working really, really hard. Back to the plan with me, sorry. <laughs> so let's see, we've got his practices done. Let's move that out of the way. Um, I am going to, actually, let's fill in his practices. Let's do that. Okay, now that that's in, I am going to add some of these other additional events. We have the farewell dinner on Thursday, and I wanna use this decorative full box for it. Actually, I'm gonna use this one right here for that one, and that's actually a work dinner, but I'm actually excited about the location. It's at this amazing hibachi place that I just cannot wait. And because that's a work event, I'm gonna fill that in off camera later on. Let's see, next up I have a couple of meetings and I found my meeting stickers that I could not find last week. I am so, so proud of myself. <laughs> These are things that I should not be losing, but it happens, you know, I'm, I make mistakes too. So I just, I had gotten a couple of orders in and was not organizing things as they came in and it was becoming very catastrophic on my desk. It was not a pretty sight at all, so. I have my usual work meeting on Tuesday. 
and that's at 3 p.m. And then I have one at 8.45 on Friday. And I think we will use this one. I have to do the same thing I did last week because my daughter works right before then. And I'm gonna put that with a skinnier label sticker, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that's probably crooked. It'll be okay. So that's at 8.45. And then my daughter only works that one day this week. <laughs> Bless her budget. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle only having one shift. It's one of those things, you know, like working in retail, there's no, there's no certainty in how many hours you're gonna get. And they're in this like slow period with um, school having just started and it's right before the holidays. So I totally get it, but man, it's gonna be tough on her budget, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. All right, and then I think I want to use the other decorative box for Nathan's driving test on Saturday. I am like all over the place as far as days of the week go. I'm just everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited for him. I really, really hope it goes well. I'm going to grab a car icon sticker. I know I have those, and hopefully it doesn't take me 12 years to find it. Cars, I know they're here somewhere. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to use just the, we'll just use this darker blue because that's the closest thing I have. I don't have one that's like yellow or, uh, no. Yeah, we'll just use that. Okay, so that's in there, and then, what do we have left? We have payday, super easy because that is on this sheet. And I think I will use, hmm, I'm always torn. Like, do I wanna use a decorative sticker with like the watercolor design on it? I think I'm gonna use those for videos. That's what we're gonna do, okay. I'm telling you, most of the time I think of these things as I'm filming, so just bear with me. Uh, we'll use the red there, there, and layer it with this dollar sign because that will make me feel better about filling up that little square there. Perfect. Okay, so for the videos going up this week, I'm really glad I saved these three. I think that's gonna be perfect. And I decided to just put them in this spot at the time that I normally upload. Um, I don't know, it just kind of made sense to do it that way for me. Um, and I think it looks nice actually putting it in the exact time that I am doing it. Now Friday, I'm actually gonna have it move down a little bit and I'm actually gonna switch. No, I don't know. I feel like there's not enough of this red color over there, but it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna put those there and I'm gonna grab my upload stickers and then just use one, and this will be for this video that's going up on Monday. This one that you're watching right now. <laughs> and then I haven't exactly decided the order of these two videos because one of them I actually have to send to a company first prior to putting it up, and then the other, um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Those might get switched around, so. We're gonna wait on that. And then I feel like I wanna put like a little meal planning, not meal planning, um, my little knife and fork stickers that I love to use for meals. Um, I love using those for like dinner or lunch events. It'll also remind me later on why I put that there since I can't write it in just yet. And let's see, I wanna put my clean house sticker where I normally put it because Sundays are just the day to get all of that stuff done and I love it. It's just the perfect way to start the week off with a clean house. And then I am going to do some meal prepping Sunday evening. So we'll put that down. I skipped meal prepping for about a week and a half and it was Awful because I ate out so much or like the meals that I grabbed just were not good for me <laughs> and, and I felt every last 
bit of it. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Let's put our laundry day on Wednesday. Love these stickers. Love these. I need like five of them though because we, we probably do like five days of laundry. But honestly, the bigger laundry days are about two days a week where we wash the most stuff. So trash day is on a Friday. How do I wanna, I'm just gonna put it here. Since I'm gonna do the weather up here and I don't have my um, day covers, I normally put it way up here. I'm just gonna put it at the eight o'clock mark right there. And then we are going to have some grocery shopping happening on Sunday morning. I don't know what it is, but I am not feeling grocery pickup lately. I am loving writing everything out, bringing it to the store with me. I go through these phases where sometimes I want to be at the grocery store and sometimes I don't want to go near that place. It is horrible, it is packed. But I have found, and I probably need to move the sticker, but I have found that going on Sundays at around 3 p.m., like nobody's at the grocery store. <laughs> Nobody's there and it's it's not as packed, it's not as crazy, um, it's just, it's a little bit more calm, you can maneuver down the aisles, it, it's what I need it to be at that moment. So, on one more thing I wanna put down is planner time on Saturday night. Let's, let's get that done. So I'll probably put that down here even though it's gonna happen earlier because I am enjoying filming in natural light and not having to bust out the studio lights. I dread having to pull out studio lights. I don't know what it is, but it's a pain. <laughs> it's such a pain. So if I can film when there's daylight, it's, it's so much easier for me and I feel like everything just shows up a little bit better. So. I think that that is everything so far for this week. It's a little too early in my planning phase right now to fill out my sidebar because this current week that we're in is not over yet, so I won't know what I have to bring over. I, per usual, am going to use this bottom section for my top threes. Oh, I forgot to add my to-do stickers down there. Those things are my favorite, look. Do I even have a backup sheet? I don't have a backup sheet. We're getting near the end, but Planner Kate ships so fast that I know that I don't have to worry. I could be like on the last few of these and it's going to be just fine. And maybe I'll just move them up a smidge. No, let's just keep it right here because then I'll try to put something on that line with the hexagon and it won't make sense because there's not hexagons going all the way down to use them as checklists. This is the way my brain works. So. <laughs> We're just gonna put them right there and it's gonna work out just fine. I just need to put down a few more and we will actually be done this time, I think. I, I swear, as soon as I turn off the camera, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot like five things. It happens every time without fail. But for the purpose of this plan with me, I think that I am officially finished planning. <laughs> So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will stick around and subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.